The sun may have been shining at Camp Marjorie this morning, but as temperatures drop, between 80 to 100 people stay in the camp each night. And the FSIN says 90% of them are Indigenous. It's a national shame and embarrassment when we can't provide for our most vulnerable people. The FSIN is calling on the province to provide resources to help address why so many people are living here in Camp Marjorie. Those resources include help for mental health, addictions and housing. We're going to be looking at pursuing a partnership with the City of Regina and with Ritz's to be able to address this need, to provide the supports, to get these people out of these tents and to get these people into safe, secure living quarters providing all the wraparound supports that they need. Regina Treaty Status Indian Services, or RITSIS, says a plan is in the works to move Camp Marjorie residents indoors. RITSIS will be on site to start working with social services in order to get people placed as of later on today. There is an interim facility um, that we are looking at that we're hoping to be operational within seven days. The FSIN is also calling for an internal provincial review of the policies that led to the creation of Camp Marjorie. Anti-poverty activists blame the new Saskatchewan Income Support Program. It gives rent money directly to the clients in need of support rather than to their landlords. But today, the Minister of Social Services said they do not have proof that that is leading to homelessness. I think we know that the program has only been uh, fully implemented since September 1st. So we are actually working as we watch the results come in on any changes that may need to be done. In the meantime, camp residents say they're thankful that shelter may be available within a week. All these testimonies that really made my heart, you know, understand that I'm not alone. I'm here with you guys. I'm alive. I'm a human being. I deserve to be treated as such. Treaty services wouldn't reveal any details Monday about where the temporary indoor shelter will be located. Laura Sharpaletti, CBC News, Regina.